Uh, hey, what's up guys? Captain Zach here. Well, it is mid-May and we've just got a really bright sunny day. It's kind of breezy out, so we've got probably about two footers. Um, so, you know, it's not as flat as it has been the last couple outings, but Mary and I are out here. We're doing some halibut fishing, so it's still pretty early season. I mean, uh, if I'm honest, the fishing is probably classified as slow. I'm talking to people who are really putting in some hours to, to pick up some hallies, but but we've been able to get on a few in the last few weeks. So we're gonna we're gonna give it a go here today and, and see if we can pick up some more some more halibut. So we're just uh, anchored up around a high tide right now. So that high tide's gonna turn probably in about 45 minutes or so. So we're gonna bounce some jigs around this high tide. Uh, and if we don't do any good there, we might start playing a little offense. We'll pull the anchor and see if we'll do some back trolling, hit a few humps, hit a few mounds, uh, some drop offs and see if we can jig up some action. So hopefully we'll find a few, few halibut today. Oh, uh, check this out. I've got a brand new halibut pounder, a 16 ouncer, all loaded up with this big grub. I've got some herring, some squid, and a trailer hook with another little chunk of squid. That is just a juicy offering. That ought to get them. Oh, and I also have it loaded up with some scent. So you can see I put the gel scent all around the, uh, the squid tentacles and also all around that grub in those grooves. It might come back. I bet you don't have any bait. Yet. Well, if you don't have any bait, I know somebody who does. <laughs> Oh, we got a nibble fest going on. Come on, someone's gonna catch one here. Mary missed one, I missed one, then Mary missed one. So, hopefully we'll hook up here shortly. Well, we're making a tough call, but it's the right call. We just saw a ton of whale spouts, probably a couple miles away. Not sure if they're orcas or if they're humpbacks, but just it's too too big of a pod of uh, whales to pass up so we are going to pull the anchor we're going to head over there and see if we can get some whale action Oh, that was just totally epic. So that was a great trade. We traded uh, fishing the high tide for some uh, humpback bubble netting action. So there were probably about 12 or 15 really big, full-size, mature humpback whales uh, and doing some early season bubble net feeding. So that is just a real treat. So that's when they all sort of swim down below and they blow bubbles in a ring and it kind of scares the bait towards the top. And right when the bait hits the top, you get like all of these humpbacks, just they launch right out of the water. So that is always a really special, special treat to see that here in Southeast Alaska. So we are back to fishing now. We're gonna do some uh, drifting and back trolling, but we definitely had a, uh, a special moment there with the humpbacks. Oh, and Mary is down and tight. That didn't take long. Sweet. Okay, the next big question. Is, <laughs> is it, it a cod? Is it a cod or a howie? <laughs> Should I get the gaff or you think no. no? Okay. Although, at least it looks like some double pass pretty great. Okay, I've got color. Oh no, not And it a does color. look like a halibut. Is yes. it? Is it really? It is a halibut. Woohoo! Oh, it's tiny. Sweet. Oh, Mary with a nice alley. <laughs> oh, 
I would usually throw a little one like this back, but you know what? We're actually camping out here tonight. So we're sleeping on the boat and I think this is gonna turn into some pan seared halibut magic. So I just brought a new jar of uh, halibut magic. I'm gonna sear that up with butter. That is gonna be absolutely delicious for dinner. Oh, Mary's on a roll. So first she got some cool drone uh, whale footage and now she got the first halibut. That was a swing and a miss. Come on. Go. Okay. Are you on? Oh, fish off. <laughs> just Go getting down, just getting ready to announce fish on. Oh, well something just nibbled that right off. So I have no tail left and absolutely no, none of the bait that was tipped on there. So that was a nibble fest. Okay, back down after that debacle. Let's see if we can put a halibut in the boat. Oh, we got some doll's porpoise swarming our boat. Oh, there's one right here. Oh, he just went underneath it. I think we're pulling up. I'm pulling up. <laughs> They're splashing all around. It's not fun if they, it's not fun if they end up uh, tangled up in your line, so. <laughs> We're gonna try to get it up as quick as we can. Oh, there we go. I'm up. Fish on. Where is he? Oh, fish off. Oh, oh no. I felt so small. Unbelievable. Maybe a, ro a rock fish. Is that up there? Up there okay, fish on. Maybe third time's the charm. First, first two times I tried to say fish on, it immediately popped off. So I'll be anxious to see what's on the other end of this one. Down in about 200 feet. <clears throat> Are you on? Oh, Mary's hooked up too. Nice. <laughs> yeah, what the? <laughs> That's a unique fish fighting pose. Do you have a halibut? I, no, I don't know. There's something messing with it for a while. Okay, here's mine. Oh, it's a rockfish. Huh. Okay. Rockfish for me, and let's see what Mary has. Of course, the halibut queen. Nice, nice little chicken halley. I think we already have one for dinner, so we'll send this little guy back. I had a bite the second it hit the ground. Come on. No, oh, they must be rockfish. Just nibble, nibble, nibble. Fish on. Okay. Nice. We just moved spots, trying to play a little offense. Hit a couple of different, different points and mounds. Just trying to create some action here. This feels like like a boot. I mean, just dead weight right now. <laughs> I wonder what we've got. I kind of doubt it's a Howie, to be honest with you. Oh yeah. You on? Yeah. Ooh, double. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> We're in 170 right now. Oh, I've lost mine. Then You're off? Yeah, I just. Okay. Oh, big rockfish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe it's a good thing I lost one. Oh, uh, Mary is down and tight. We just switched spots again, so we're just bouncing from spot to spot, and Mary picked one up immediately. Okay, I'm ready to land a lunker. <laughs> Come on, where are those huge head shakes? Yeah, that's way down, sorry. 270 <laughs> feet. <laughs> oh. Although 270 is the shallow part. There's a lot of deep water right next to it, so it's all relative. We have not caught a cod yet today. <laughs> I'm calling Pacific Cod. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> there it is. It's not a fishing trip until you catch a Pacific Cod. <laughs> Oh, well, I think we're gonna leave it there. And you know what? We put together a really awesome mixed bag day. So it was an unexpected start. We had those humpback whales sort of interrupt us around that high tide. But you know what? We'll take that interruption any day of the week. Seeing bubble net feeding is uh, super special. So that was a real treat. Uh, and then we did put together, like I said, a nice nice mixed bag. So a couple of halibut, a couple of rockfish, and then a, a cod as well. So so that's really cool. And now we're gonna head over to a uh, to a dock out here and look forward to uh, to cooking up that that halibut. So we'll have some fresh halibut for dinner. So hope everyone really enjoyed this. And uh, as always, really fun fishing here near Juneau, Alaska. Tight lines for now.